Hey guys, Rendakor here, doing some more uh, Mad Science Alchemy. Today we're going to show off a more elaborate glowstone farm, as well as show off the use of the Watch of Flowing Time. But to do that we need to make one more glowstone aggregator to make the uh, ideal pattern, which is glowstones in the corners, three diamonds, a redstone, and a furnace. So we're going to take this, and we're going to go set up a, a glowstone farm. And we're only going to make a small one for now. Um, you can make fucking absurdly large ones. But what the glowstone farm basically does is it takes these aggregators and it makes it so that they pump their outputs directly into an alchemical chest. So every time they produce a glowstone, instead of it going over here into the output, it, it'll end up in the chest. Now the output slowed down because they don't have any light right now. Now we could put one glowstone here in the middle to power all of them, or I could place them on top of each one individually. But of course it's being finicky. So... Okay, there we go. If I put it on top of the chest, it would make it a bitch to get into the chest. We're just gonna do like this. It's still gonna be a little annoying. Actually, it's probably gonna be just as annoying to get into the damn chest. But, we will manage. So, now, as you see, it happened already. The cool thing, however, with this, is that if you put the watch inside the chest, it will make them cook the glowstone faster. So we're going to put a little bit of dust in all of them so that they've all got at least something. And I'll come back and I'll even it out later. But for now I'm going to make us a second watch and then that way we can put one into the chest so that it uh, will accelerate the process. Alright, um, scratch that. You actually can't... There isn't an easy recipe for making a watch out of a watch. So we're going to take the one we have, and we're just going to put it in there, because slowing down, making longer days is cool, but like, I have a bed. Whereas making glowstone produce a zillion times faster is important. So, we power it all the way up to full power, and then you place it into the chest, and this will rapidly increase the rate of production for these things. It actually, look, you see, it's going very, very quick now. It used to take like 3 minutes, and now I think it makes it take like 30 seconds or 15 seconds per glowstone. So, we have that going. Now what I'm going to do, because the chest is such a bitch to get to, we are going to run pipe, and we're going to extract shit from it automatically with build craft, and we're going to pipe the glowstone directly up top um, into a chest. And that way, um, I won't have to do this shit where I hop on the dirt, to try to see what's in there, it'll all just get pumped out automatically. Alright, so I set the uh, farm up, and I had a piping system kind of going to pull the glowstone out of the chest, but I didn't like that, so what I did was I moved them. And here they are, um, set in the floor. And there are the four aggregators, and in the center is the chest with the watch to receive the output. And I'll show you what it looks like from above. Basically, an aggregator will still get full power if a light source is two blocks above it. So I've got kind of like a glow-hanging glowstone chandelier here. And you can see the little sun thing here is fully lit up, which means full power. And I've got a bunch of glowstone in them, and I've got them um, kicking out into here. The problem with all the other setups I was trying is that using even a steam engine was only pulling the glowstone out at one glowstone per pump, which is really fucking slow, because this shit produces en masse. And I didn't really want to try to rig a combustion engine just to see if it would go faster, so I said fuck it, and I left it like this, and I'll have to harvest it by hand, but it's not difficult because it's like right here in the floor, I can just click it, whereas before I had to drop dirt and climb up. So this is a pretty good setup, and I can repeat this, you know, across the whole back floor here, and just get tons and tons and tons of glowstone passively and not actually have to farm a whole lot of materials. Sorry this is only like a five minute video. Um, 
it was going to be part of the last video, but it was going into like 25, 20, 25 minutes that way. So I cut it and then I trimmed a lot out of this because shit just didn't work. But yeah, we'll uh, see you.